Hi, it's Asad Beck. Discrete mathematics. Actually, this subject is relatively easy, but you might have problems with solving congruences. Um, so, let's get started with modular arithmetic. Which structure you might see usually in modular arithmetic? A is equivalent to B modular M. What actually it means, it means modular M, module is actually reminder after division. Module M is relevant to both A and B. You might write it like A modular M is equal to B modular M. Example 20 is equal to 43 modular 23 20 modular 23 is 23 should multiply by 0 and plus 20 so the reminder is here 20 and 43 modular 23 23 we should multiply by 1 because we have only one one times uh, 23 one time and plus 20 and here we have 20 as a reminder so they are equal okay in solving congruences you might have structure with multiplied by 0 near the a A multiplied by, uh, sorry, x, I mean, x is equivalent to B modular M. And we should solve for x. We should solve with using uh, the inverse of A in the modular arithmetic. How we should find it? Let's get straight forward to example the best way to understand this is using the example uh, solving the example uh, from the book inverse of find an inverse of 101 modulo 4620 4620 so that means a it is here we have 101 and modulo that is m is 4620 here we don't have b so we use b as one we use Bezot coefficients and euclidean algorithm to solve this how we can do this we should write our modular first equal to 101 and how many times we have here in modular 101 um, we have 45 times uh, and here 20 minus uh, 45 45 for <laughs> we should uh, have so seventy five. Uh, we have seventy five as a reminder. And here we should put this multiplier here and do the similar thing with the reminder 75 multiplied by we have only once 75 here plus 26 as a reminder we put 75 here and the same thing with the reminder 26 
2 times 26 and plus 23 as a reminder. We put again multiply here and a reminder here. Uh, 23 times 1 plus we should do this operation until we reach 1 because we need to have the greatest common divisor 1 uh, 23 equal to 3 3 times 7 plus 2 3 equal to 1 times 2 plus 1 here we use 2 uh, and 2 is equal to 2 times 1 actually let, let me write as we did previously uh, 2 times 1 plus 1 and here we use 2, here we use 1. And here we have 0. Here we should stop. And after which, when we reach the end of the our equilibrium, uh, this is actually equilibrium algorithm, we should write our remi reminder as a multiple, multi um, in terms of uh, 2, in the in the form of uh, here like 101 some number x1 plus uh, 4620 and some number is equal to 1 uh, let me write how it works so here I put 1 equal to 1 <laughs> this is 1 equal to 3 minus 2 times 1 3 minus 2 times 1 okay and we go up one level here we have 2 and here we have 2 right and we should write 2 in terms of 23 minus in terms of these numbers 3 minus 1 times 23 minus 7 times 3 right and going up by one level here we have 3 so we should write 3 here are 3 in terms of 26 minus 21 times 23 uh, but firstly we um, it's better for us for us to open the brackets uh, here we have uh, 3 minus 1 times 23 plus 7 times 3 right uh, and then we get minus 1 times 23 it is actually a long procedure you should be very relaxed and stop that's all okay now we should go up one more so we need to write 3 3 yes actually let me write it continue here so here uh, so minus 1 times 23 plus 8 uh, times 26 26 minus 1 times uh, 23 open the braces um, then we have 8 times 26 right? minus 9 times 23 okay and we're going up by one again we need to show our 23 oh, sorry 23 uh, so times 25 minus 8 times 26 right? uh, let me do it real quick because it's all in the procedure I hope you understand uh, the uh, process of making uh, this equal to minus 2 times 26 I want to open the braces minus 9 times 25 plus 26 times 26 
So, so we have minus 35 times 46 20 plus uh, plus 1601 times 101 so that's why we need we needed those multipliers we don't need to multiply those things because we need these numbers minus 35 and 1 1601 here we don't have upper level so we should finish here inverse of our a in this case 101 is 1601 okay uh, so that means 100 601 multiplied by 101 is equal to 1 times modular modular 4620 this is the case if you have here some kind of x value some kind of x value sorry So this is actually what you need all. If uh, if you have the form of this, you just need to solve for x. For example, if you have here, first the need to find. First step is need to find inverse of your number, and after which, how you can use your inverse. You should multiply both sides, both sides by this number. One hundred. This multiply will give you one, okay, and you will have have x equal to uh, this number multiplied by five modulo for four six twenty. You need to multiply this one. You will have just a minute. You will have eight thousand and eight thousand and five mode modular for a six twenty, and this is actually. So there's three eighty five. I hope it was understandable for you. Thank you for your attention. If you have some questions, feel free to ask. Uh, good luck.